Hi, Brian Henderson here. What you're viewing is an audio amp that I built using surface mount components with a circuit board that I drew by hand, etched by hand, and uh, then soldered all by hand with a regular soldering iron. Just that one right there, but this is all surface mount components and have it hooked up to RetroBit NES system with uh, Mega Man 3 in it. And just want to give a quick demonstration. Nasty, janky speaker I ripped from another project here. But you'll notice that uh, basically this chip is just, uh, this is the, put a better angle here. This is just the audio amplifier chip, some capacitors, and you notice there's no uh, pot for volume control. It's all built into the uh, thing. It's called the TDA8551. Got it from Mouser for like 90 cents. And then just uh, some capacitors and one resistor go with it. A couple push buttons. And uh, if you look at this little diagram, you, know, you can see that, that uh, pin number one, uh, you just connect it to either uh, the supply voltage, with, which in this case is 5 volts, which makes the volume go up. And if you connect it to uh, ground, it makes the volume go down. And it's all built in. So I, I just figured I'd give it a try because of uh, how few components it takes to make this. And let me give another demonstration. So, this volume you can uh, turn it on down. The only downside is it's 64 taps all the way up to the top and the bottom. So that that takes a little while, but just tap it on up. And, and if you listen closely, also hear some interference I'm getting. maximum volume, it kind of maxes out pretty quickly. It's just a, it's just a one watt amp. So, but anyway, just thought I'd show that off.